YouTube channel once again. It's me, Chef Archie, your favorite redhead chef. <laughs> okay, um, before I talk about what we're going to be cooking today, I want to appreciate everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel thus far. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for always viewing each and every one of my videos. I also want to use this opportunity to tell those of you who have simply been viewing and not subscribing i really don't know what you're what what you're what you're waiting for i don't know i don't know it won't cost anything to subscribe please click on the subscribe button and do well to turn on your notification so you'll be notified whenever we drop any of our super duper yummy amazing recipes on today's episode of watch sports youtube channel we're going to be making a father sauce a father stew or beata dudu or beata iru whichever one you know it as now a father sauce is a stew or a soup or a recipe that is particular to the Yorubas of Nigeria. They say it's particular to the Ijebus, but now it's widely enjoyed by every tribe in Nigeria, even outside Nigeria. Ofada sauce is so yummy and, and delicious that it has even been integrated into Nigerian party recipes. Okay, let's start cooking. So for our father sauce today, we're going to be making use of some onion. I like to use um, green scotch bonnet pepper and green bell peppers together palm oil seasoning cube and salt some pomo scotch bonnet pepper at harudu locust bean iru some stock i have here already boiled meat offals combination of shaki roundabout and um liver and i have eggs which i'll be boiling into the stew and i have um banana fish now to begin we're going to add palm oil to a clean, dry pot. Our father sauce requires you to bleach your palm oil for at least five to 10 minutes, but I am not a big fan of bleaching palm oil. I am not. I really do not even think it's, you know, really healthy to do so. Now you're going to add chopped onion into your palm oil. Now I also do not bleach palm oil because I believe that the oil will continue to bleach as you continue cooking. So I really see no reason why I have to bleach my palm oil till forever. You give this a stir and allow it fry for like 5 to 10 minutes. Then you add iru. So we're going to add iru to the mix. Then I add a little grounded crayfish. This is about one tablespoon of grounded crayfish. You notice at this, po at this point that the oil is beginning to bubble. At this point, I, I like to add my meat, I, my meat offals. I actually cut them into bite sizes. Here I have my meat offals and pomo cut into bite sizes. Next. I add my fish and I give it a mix. Now I, I, I do this to allow you know the flavor of that iru and the oil and everything to seep properly into all these proteins. Now I'm going to leave this for another five minutes before I come back to continue. Now I'm going to be adding my pepper. If you look, you see that it, it wasn't smoothly blended. Um, of other sauce, you don't have to blend the pepper to be smooth. And now you can see the color, it's dark. That's why it's called Obeata Dudu. It's dark. At this point, you keep saying, ah, doesn't look like there's any oil here in this soup. We're just going to cover this and allow it cook. Give it time to cook and then you'll you find out that the oil will come to the top, to float to the top. I've not added any seasoning yet. I'm just going to let this cook for at least 15 minutes before I come to add seasoning. So we're going to cover our pot and allow this cook rapidly on high heat for like 15 minutes. Yes. So if you look, you can see we have oil on top of our soup now. Remember, we had some stock 
I put in my offers that have been pre boiled and I have some stock from the offers here. I'm just going to add that in. After which, I'm going to add some seasoning cubes, a little bit of salt. You have to be careful with the salt. And of course, what is offered as sauce without boiled egg, without any toti muta? Some boiled eggs. I like to add my egg now and then allow it to stay in the soup while the soup still keeps cooking. So I'm going to be leaving my soup on the fire. I have to um, correct seasoning at this point. I need to check if my seasoning is fine. Everything is perfect. Now I'm going to leave my soup on the fire for another five to ten minutes so it cooks and thickens up and some of the water is out yes our ofada sauce is ready can you see it can you see it obiata iru can you see the iru obiata dudu as you can see it's not looking like the red stew that you would that you know that you are used to all right let's save okay i'm just turning off the heat now uh ofada is ready now you can see that there's oil on top of it all the while while it was cooking you might be saying ah does this soup have oil at all and oh now that it's ready you can see this is what it looks like when it's ready you have oil sitting beautifully on top of it so let's give it a stir this is what it looks like yeah there is nothing there's no offer without a nituti muta egg that has soaked pepper that has drunk pepper all right let's serve all right here we have a beautiful offer sauce as you can see with every obstacle everything was cut into bite sizes so that when you take one spoon of rice and the sauce, you have something to accompany it. Maybe um, shaki or bomo or something. And then I like to always have my rice with plantain. That's why you can see plantain by the side. This is not actually a fada rice. I do not have a fada rice available. But this rice can also go with this yummy, yummy of fada sauce. Make sure you try out our recipes and leave your, num your videos to me on my WhatsApp. Mm, I hope to see you again sometime soon. Remember, subscribe to my channel. See you next week.